Of the many antagonists featured across the Stargate franchise, the Wraith of the Pegasus Galaxy are one of the most formidable and frightening foes ever encountered by the explorers of Earth Stargate Command. The Wraith are a complex and fascinating ancient race of beings. In this video, I'd like to discuss their vampiric nature and how their insatiable hunger guided their development as a society and as a species resulting in their rise to galactic domination. Spoiler warning if you are unfamiliar with the story of Stargate Atlantis. The spin-off series begins as an expedition travels to the Pegasus Galaxy to explore the fabled Lost City of Atlantis, where the ancient race of beings that built the Stargates once lived and prospered. Millions of years prior, the Gate Builders, known as Alterans, fled the Milky Way Galaxy to escape a deadly plague. Upon their arrival to the seemingly lifeless Pegasus Galaxy, they seeded life on many worlds, as they had already done in the Milky Way, enabling the eventual birth of the next race of humanity. The Alterans experienced a renaissance period of exploration, research, and advancement, building a new Stargate network and establishing many colonies throughout the Pegasus Galaxy until one day, they stepped foot on a dark world where a terrible enemy slept, a race of beings with powers that rivaled their own and a hunger that would never be satisfied. By introducing human populations into the galaxy, the Alterans inadvertently played a role in the birth of the vampiric wraith. Long ago, a predatory creature native to the Pegasus Galaxy called the Aratus Bug began to feed on and consequently incorporate human DNA into their own genetic code, leading to the birth of the Wraith species, who eventually grew to more humanoid proportions. These fearsome insects survive by draining the life force from their prey for nourishment. The Wraith inherited the predatory nature and feeding mechanism of the Aratus Bug, along with the intelligence and physical attributes of humans. In regards to their biology, though humanoid, the Wraith are genetically closer to the Aratus Bug. They are driven by the fierce hunger that gave rise to their species. The human-like appearance and traits they possess are mostly superficial in comparison to the dominant predatory parts of their genetic makeup. Wraith have distinctively pale skin, they are tall and possess superhuman strength and agility, as well as advanced telepathic abilities. Though they have the means to communicate verbally, Wraith primarily communicate with each other via telepathic network. They are able to induce hallucinations as a tactic to confuse their human prey, and can also sense falsehood or read the intentions of others. Their hunger burns like a fire, the need to feed on the life force of humans is central to their entire existence. The sensation of feeding is described as intoxicating, with the wraith experiencing a euphoric high as they drain the life from their victims. This hunger drives much of the wraith's actions and strategies, as they are in a constant search for food sources to satisfy their cravings and maintain their numbers. Nourishment is a significant factor in the Wraith's resilience and longevity. Wraith possess none of the normal human inhibiting proteins, making them an incredibly hardy species unlikely to die from natural aging as humans do. A well-fed Wraith is able to heal rapidly from weapons fire injuries. Their regenerative abilities are so powerful that as long as their cells are properly nourished, they are able to live for thousands of years. Though Wraith possess teeth and all the organs necessary to digest conventional food, once they reach the stage of adolescence, they no longer receive nourishment from it. The only way they can continue to sustain themselves is to feed on the life force of humans through a specialized organ located in the palm of their right hand. The feeding process is incredibly painful for the victim, as the wraith drain not only their life energy, but also their youth, often leaving them as withered ancient husks. The process is so traumatic that the wraith adapted to inject their prey with an enzyme that strengthens their victims, so as to allow the wraith to feed longer without immediately killing them. Like the erratus bugs of their ancient past, the wraith are a hive-based species. 
Their society is organized into a strict hierarchy, with the ruling class consisting of powerful queens who exert control over their respective hives. Each hive is a massive organic spacecraft that serves as both home and worship. The queens are supported by a cast of commanders and warriors who are responsible for the protection and expansion of their hive's territory. The Wraith have also been known to allow certain factions of humans to worship them in exchange for protection and the privilege of being spared from feeding. The most devout are even bestowed with the gift of a prolonged life. It is a rare occurrence, but just as a Wraith consumes a human's life force, they are also capable of reversing the process and giving life instead. There are also rare instances when individual humans are immune to the feeding process. These few are called runners, as they are outfitted with a tracking device and are relentlessly hunted by the wraith for sport and training. To ensure the continuation of their food supply, once a hive has taken their fill, they enter a new hibernation cycle that lasts for centuries to avoid overfeeding and allow their human herds a chance to repopulate for the next culling. The peoples of the Pegasus Galaxy had little defense against such powerful and numerous predators. In the Alterans' overconfidence, they found themselves unprepared to deal with the insatiable hunger of the Wraith and their great numbers that would go on to sweep across the galaxy like a plague feeding upon defenseless human worlds. The Alterans warred against the Wraith, but despite their superior technology and knowledge, they were swiftly overwhelmed by the Wraith Horde's incredible resilience, fierce cunning, and adaptive predatory tactics. After the Alterans retreated to the Milky Way, the city of Atlantis remained dormant until the arrival of the expedition from Earth Stargate Command. This set in motion events that would lead to the premature awakening of the Wraith. However, the human population of the Pegasus was nowhere near the numbers needed to sustain all of the Wraith hives. As a result, fierce infighting over territory and resources began to take place. The utter dominance and prosperity of the Wraith, which once led them to victory over the advanced Alterans, became their greatest weakness as they could no longer sustain their vast numbers. Ultimately, the thirst of the Wraith dictated nearly every aspect of their lives. It shaped their interactions with other species, their internal dynamics, and their approach to conquest and survival. While this aspect of their being contributed greatly to their ferocity and determination as a species, their insatiable appetite became a crucial factor for the heroes of Stargate Command to exploit in their efforts to vanquish the threat of this most terrifying foe. But I'm curious to know what you think of the Wraith. Is there a particular aspect of their history, biology, and predatory nature that stands out to you? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe for more Stargate and other sci-fi and fantasy news and lore. Thank you all so much for your support. And as always, have a very nerdy day.